Wow. This place sure does look tall, huh? Well, hello guys. So, today's video, I thought we would do a very first long come video for this year. Well, it's actually been a uh, couple of times since I uh, last cut my grass uh, this year. So I thought today I would make my very first long come video this year and my first and first time ever on my YouTube channel. So, today's video, we are going to be using the following equipment. We're going to be using the 2016 Echo G225 curb shaft trimmer. The mowing will be the Lomboy 10323. This is a 2003 model. Um, edging will, uh, I guess we'll do the edging with my Echo PE200 edger. And last but not least, the blowing will be the Red Mats EBZ 8500. So without uh, further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get started with the uh, trimming. Alright, so this was last used uh, two days ago. I had to um, use it for um, my customer's client. Anyway, it's a Echo G225 curve shaft trimmer. It's a, it uses a 21.2 cc uh, two-stroke engine, very similar to the SRM225. Is a straight shaft, and this is a GT series, which is curve shaft. So anyway, we'll uh, go ahead and start this up. Switch it on. Should be right there. Uh, maybe five primes. Five primes should be fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my head strap on. Yep, so it's three poles. I'll uh, let it warm up for a couple of minutes and then we'll start trimming.
Awesome. All right, now for the lawnmower, we're gonna be using my 2003 Lombroid 10-323, which is a six and a half horsepower Duraforce two-stroke e-engine. This is the Silver Post series with its uh, 21 inch steel deck. There's the model number 10323. The serial number indicates it's a 2003 model. And then one year later, it was 2004, which was when the Duraforce ended. Kind of sucks the the EPA emissions killed it in 2004. All right, so I used it since uh, two days ago. Up, oh, no gas. Well, it does have some, but not much. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some. I'm gonna put some gas in it. And uh, start the cutting. It's got about. Slightly more than three quarters. All right. I set the cutting height to three and a half. All right. So I have about seventy nine percent on my GoPro battery because that's why. I'm going to mow the back and this side over here. I'm not going to uh, film the front and that side because um, I need to charge my GoPro's battery. So yeah, and, yeah, and of course my yard is pretty big and I thought today I'll just film me mowing the back and this side, not filming the front and that side and plus edging the front. Well, actually I might, I might as well film the whole edging. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and start this up. I'll give it, I'll give it about three palms. All right, choke. And we'll see how this workhorse starts.
five horsepower, you cannot lose the power.
All right, so I just uh, finished mowing the back on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop uh, recording because I gotta charge my GoPro. So I'll uh, finish doing the front and that side and then I'll uh, check how much uh, battery left I have on my GoPro. And if I have enough, I should be able to do uh, the edge in the front and the back and then the blowing last. All right, so uh, I'll uh, stop going and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can. Well, okay, so about an hour and a half later, I uh, finished mowing the front and that side with my Longboy 1053. So now we're gonna finish off doing some edging with my Echo P200 Edger. All right, turn on. Junk. But probably it's fun. Oh, um, by the way, whenever I uh, shut this off, you, you'll see some smoke coming out. So, yeah, um, I put the sparkers to screen back on and uh, put the muffler in. I mean, tiny muffler boards back in. So, I, I believe it's something coming out of the muffler, the exhaust is what's smoking like that. Anyway, let's go and finish. I'll do that here. Yeah. And I'll do the back. Look at that, look at that.
Can you guys see it? Oh yeah, you can see it right there. Holy oh, saw. There's some smoke. That's something coming out of the exhaust. So yeah, I don't have uh, much time for my GoPro left because the recording time right now. And all that's recorded 30 minutes left right now. So, edging is finished, the Echo P200. Now, last but not least, we'll start the day with my Redmath EBZ 8500 backpack blower. Alright, so anyway, let's go home and finish off. So, it's automatically returned to the arm position for the hip mounted. On uh, a two mounted, it's manual. So, yeah. Alright, so, put it to full choke, I'll give it about four pumps. I think that's fine. All right. Now, you won't be able to uh, give me this, so I gotta go up and put my uh, helium protection on because this thing's loud. Man, I just love this. 
machine. And this is just part one of my favorite lowers so far. All right, so that is the welcome video for uh, June 2nd, 2020. I forgot to include the date at the beginning. There it is today. So we featured the 2003 Lombard 1023, the 69 horsepower Dura Force E engine, uh, the Echo G225 trimmer, the Echo P200 Edger, and last but not least, the Remats TBZ8500 backpack blower. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I just actually got a uh, another mower last week. You probably don't even see one of these on YouTube. This is called a Cub Cadet S621 Walk Behind Mower. It's self propelled wheel wheel drive. I got it for free, and it works actually. Put fresh gas in it, and it started for a sick pull. Uh, one time I got it last week, and it runs fine though now. And next month, hopefully by next month, maybe after Independence Day, I'm going to swap this motor for my Honda HRM 215's G8340 engine since I need to put this engine onto this Cup Cadet SH21 motor's deck. So I, because I, um, I'm just going to throw away the Honda's uh, handle of a deck, the wheels and everything, except just keep the only good part left on it and put it on the Cup Cadet deck is the Honda's G8340 engine. Yeah, so anyway, I'm guessing, hope you um, enjoyed this very first knock-on video. So I, I uh, hopefully, um, I'll try and make some more this year, and I'll try and make some more in the future, though. Alright, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, thanks for watching. Yeah.